Ay, a la Jun. Hello, hello. <laughs> welcome, welcome, everybody. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. How exciting. Good evening, teacher. How are you, people? How are you, people? Hmm? How you doing tonight? Are you ready? You ready, teacher? Ah, you had a good day today. You had a good day? I'm good. Yeah, teacher. That's nice. That's nice. Welcome, welcome everyone to one more English session. Teacher Kalev here. It's a pleasure being with you. I am ready. If you are ready, I am ready. So let's yes, keep on working. Remember. Present continuous, you remember? Present yes. continuous. In the present simple, the question is, what do you do? Yeah, remember? Like the song, like the song, what do you do? You remember? What do you do? I must do already. <laughs> ah, so what do you do is is simple present. For example, what do you do? What do you do on Sundays? What do you do on Saturdays? That's simple present. Now, present continuous. Actions happening in this exact moment. The question is. What are you doing? Repeat. What are you doing? 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 I am studying English right now. Excellent. Thank you for that. Next. What are you doing right now, Will? Una pregunta, teacher. Oh, yes. I am <laughs> Nurse aplica para él y ella. Nurse, sí. Ok. Uh -huh. Go ahead, uh, Gabriela, can you repeat your example, please? I listen to a teacher. To the, to the, to, to the, the teacher. Uh, to the teacher. I am... I am oh, yeah. mm -hmm. listening, listening to the teacher. Yes, it's I it's am it's listening it. to the class. Excellent. Different answer, different answer. Somebody has an example. I am teaching. I am teaching an English class to many different students from different places in El Salvador. So it's a nice experience. Some people are studying. Some people are, some people are studying English from Aguachapan, from Santa Ana, from San Miguel, from Sultan, from San Salvador, all over the place. And we are connected. We are studying English. Yes, we are learning English. What is your family? What is your family? What are your family members doing right now? What is your friend doing right now? For example, my sister, she's having dinner with her family right now. Tell me, talk to me. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Nobody? For example, my friend Joe is sleeping right now, I think. Mm -hmm. My yeah. friend. Uh huh. Go ahead. My, my friend Broxy um, is singing a song right now. Nice. Might it be in English or Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> I don't Who know. Knows? I in English, in another language. Nice. What about you, Juan? What do you have? 
my wife listening music right now. Bird to be, bird to be. My wife is my listening wife right is now. listening. Say it, Juan. Oh, excuse me. Tenía apagado el micrófono. It's okay. Uh, my listening is listening music, listening to music right now. My wife. My, my wife. wife. My, my wife is listening to music right now. Correct. Correct. Uh, continue, please. Um, Will, go ahead. My co-worker uh, working right now. Bird to be. Bird to be. My coworker is 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 work is working right now. Working right now. Excellent example. Present continuous is happening right now. My my father my father is in the next room. Yes. So my father is listening to the radio. He loves listening to the radio so right now he is listening to the radio yeah Mus music accessentas yeah like 60s 70s 80s you know all these all these daniela what you got my friend sophie is having dinner mm, yummy yummy maybe chicken maybe meat I think pupusas. Ooh, even better. Right now, my song is playing. Thank you, hey, sir. In the house, hey, sir. Tamar, go ahead. My brother is playing right now. That's nice. That's nice. Excellent. Excellent. Good example. Tatiana, go ahead. My mom is washing clothes 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 right Clo now clothes washing clothes, clothes. your washing clothes? clothes your mother is washing your clothes right now yeah. <laughs> or her clothes or her clothes la ropa de ella uh, her clothes yeah no, es, 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 ropa, es ropa de ella, no es mía. <ríe> <ríe> Clarifying. Entonces ahí vas a usar el posesivo de ella. Si ella se dice she, ¿cuál es el posesivo de ella, guys? She's. Yeah. Ah, 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 el posesivo. Vimos los posesivos. Her. 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 Her va a ser el posesivo adjetivo de ella. Yes. Entonces vas a decir, um, my mother, my mom is washing her clothes can you repeat my mother washing clothes her se están no, comiendo no. el verbo to be guys todos están comiendo el verbo to be what's happening repitamos la regla es subject 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 estamos hablando de i you he she he we they después de eso que sigue the verb to be am um, is are yes. Basado en el subject que usted elija. Si usted elige I, usted va a hablar de su persona, usted va a usar am. Entonces va a decir I am y va a usar un verbo en ing. I am playing, I am dancing, I am working. Si es negativo, I am not. Agregamos not. I am not dancing music right now. I am studying English. Yes? All right. Go ahead. Tatiana, okay, it's done. Claudia, go ahead, Claudia. My sister is washing the dishes right now. Oh, good for her. Good for her. And Gabriela, go ahead. My husband is taking a break. He's taking a? He's taking a break. break. A break. A break. break. O sea, se está tomando un, un receso en este momento el caballero, right? Um, he's taking a break. 
That's good. That's good for him. That's good for him. Vámonos entonces al platform, guys. Thank you so much for your participation. Thank you very much. Ya me estoy acostumbrando, right? Que los, los, los valientes se animan a participar y otros pues se han de quedar ahí con eso de que lo digo, no lo digo, lo digo, no lo digo. Pueden usar el chat, right? Acuérdense que ustedes tienen ahí todas sus herramientas, right? Permítanme que me está cargando esto. One second. One quick second. Yo, aunque me equivoque, siempre trato de participar. Eso es, y no, y de eso se trata, pues, que te equivoques, eso está, eso está en el presupuesto, eso está en el budget. Ok, um, let's see. Um, lesson uh, four, objective four, we're going to talk about, let's see, clothes. Oh, se me regresó esto. Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry, guys. Should I give me my internet connection? Let me see. It came back. I'm sorry. Ya pasamos todo esto. Entonces, íbamos por present continuous. Okay, acá, just no questions. Just no questions, hagamos. Just no questions with present continuous. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. Are you, the verb is wear, and we add ing to that, that will be wearing a suit. And of course, we put a question mark there. Let's give another example. The verb to be is is, is she wearing boots? And of course, question mark at the end. So let's try to make questions now. I will give you the subject, the verb, plus some kind of complement. And you need to write the questions. Okay, guys, here we have yes, no questions. Yes, remember, yes, no questions, we only answer yes, I am, or no, I am not. Yes, she is, or no, she's not, or no, she isn't, right? Yes, they are or no, they're not, or no, they aren't. Now, are you, estamos usando más que todo el verbo vestir, vistiendo, wearing, ok, para introducir el present continuous. Ustedes podrán usar cualquier otro verbo, right, para hablar cualquier otra situación o contexto. All right. So, let me ask you guys, let me ask you, um, are you wearing flip-flops right now? Are you wearing flip flops right now? Yes. Hello. Yes, I am. No, I am not in my case. No. No, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Yes, I am. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you for the answers. Thank you for the answers. <laughs> yes, I am. No, I am not. Okay, let me ask you, is, is your best friend wearing pajamas right now? 
No, he's not. Going up. <laughs> okay, uh, negative, huh? No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Repeat, no, he isn't. Mm -hmm. No, he isn't. No, he isn't. Is teacher Kalev wearing glasses? In this moment? No, he oh, he's isn't. not. He isn't. What's your pronunciation for this one? The negation word. What is the negation word pronunciation? No, he's not. Oh, he's not. 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 No, he's not. not. No, he's not. Okay. Not. Are, are, are your classmates drinking coffee right now? No, they are not. Not they are not. Not no, they, they are, are not. Not, not they. Are not. they, they. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one or two are drinking. For example, how yeah. I'm gonna give you mention the Just subject check. will be you and the verb eat, and in this case, I'm gonna say dinner is the complement. So what I want you to do with that is to form a question. Can you make a question with that? You eat and dinner. Can you make a question? Present continuous. Just no question. Um, are you eating dinner? Correct. Are you eating dinner? Are you eating dinner, guys? Are you eating dinner right now? No, no I'm not. not. No, I'm not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Ay, ¿por qué tienen la cámara apagada? Ah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, vamos a ver acá. Let's check. So let's take the the uh, the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, you're going to say are. The pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form. Are you Eating dinner is the complement. And of course, add the question mark there. So I'm going to give you more, and you should uh, make these questions as I explain. After you have finished, go ahead and share your work in our discussion forums. OK, uh, there we have other options to make questions. Let's see. We have, let me put this over here so I can see you all. Okay, perfect. Okay, so there we have he, drink, water. What is the question? Just no question. What is the just no question for that? Is he drinking water? Excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, what is the possible answer? Tell me, is he drinking water? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Correct. In the case is affirmative, you will say, yes, he is. He is drinking water. Yes, yes, he is. Or negative, no, no, he's not. He's not drinking water. He's drinking uh, lemonade. Yes? All right. Next one. She study English. What is the question? The yes, no question in person continuous. Is she, is, she English? English? is she studying English? So, is she studying English? Is she studying English right now? What is an affirmative answer? Yes, she is. Yes, she is studying English at English Corporativo. They play soccer. What is the just no question? Are, Are they, they playing, playing soccer? soccer? Playing soccer. Are they playing soccer? What is the negative answer? No, they uh, are not. They're not. They're not. No, they're not. Or no, yes, they, they are. aren't. Oh, no, see, sí, el afirmativo, they yes, they are. Okay, mm -hmm. vamos con John. Watch TV. What is the yes no question in present continuous? Is John, is John watching, watching, TV? watching TV? Is John watching TV? Remember, your intonation for the question counts. Okay? Is John watching TV? Right? Uh, affirmative answer? What is the affirmative answer? 
Yes, yes, he is. Yes, he is. All right. Jason and Richard draw, draw in the art class. What is the question? Are Jason and Richard drawing, drawing the art class. in the art class? Affirmative answer. What is the affirmative answer? Yes, yes they, are. they are. Yes, they are. Excellent yes, job, are. guys. Excellent job. Congratulations. We're going to move on. And this is your platform, which you already completed. Let me wait for this to load a little bit. Bear with me. Bear with me, people. So let's see. Here we have number five. We're going to talk about cities and international time zones. Let's talk about it. First, as usual, we're going to watch a video. Pay attention, write any questions you have, and you tell me any doubt at the end of the video. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. And it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, 4 o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums. By looking at the map, which cities are in the same time zone? Which cities are in your time zone? which illustrates the all right here we have a conversation let's practice this conversation do you have any question about this uh conversation right here guys vocabulary expression something you have a question or no shall we continue okay Let's continue. Let's continue. Can you identify a present continuous question or sentence in this conversation? Um, I am calling from house. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Um, 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 um. Uh, no hay preguntas. Uh -huh. Wait, 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 wait. Aquí hay un comentario. Let me check. This is... ¿Qué estoy presentando? Los videos del primer módulo. Wait. Estamos con el módulo 2, ¿verdad? Right? No, yes. 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 ¿Y entonces? Me he confundido yo, ¿o qué? Yo pensé que un repaso nos estaba haciendo, teacher. For real? Me too. Gosh. I'm sorry, guys. Se me, se me chispotea acá con esta, 
Qué fácil está hoy, dije. Con esta plataforma, God, I'm sorry. Suerte que me dijiste. Ok, habíamos visto los countdowns, right? Los countdowns. On countdowns. Yeah. Ok. <laughs> This is an easy class, you said, huh? It's very easy, teacher. Very, very easy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Porque no me decían, pues, oh my God. Easy peasy. Ah, easy peasy. Okay, ahora sí, ve, aquí tengo los albers of frequency. That's our topic. Entonces me deben, me deben 20 minutos, guys. You owe me. Perdí 20 minutos de mi tiempo, adiós. <laughs> no, not really, not really. Sé que siempre se aprende algo nuevo, so. Here. Hi everyone, frequency. in this class you'll learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about food. Let's get started by analyzing the examples on the chart. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Let me start by explaining what adverbs of frequency are and how we can categorize them. Adverbs of frequency are words that come before the verbs and they express frequency. For example, if you would like to express that you take a shower every day, 100% of the time, that will be always, you can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I always take a shower. This means I take a shower 100% of the time. If you would like to express that you never smoke cigarettes, uh, this means 0% of the time. You can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I never smoke cigarettes. This means 0% of the time. The easiest way to categorize adverbs of frequency is by giving each a percentage number. So let's do just that. Always equals 100% usually equals 80%, often equals 70%, sometimes equals 50%, hardly ever equals 25%, never equals 0%. Next, I would like to explain how to use them and in which order to use them. Typically, we will use adverbs of frequency after the pronoun or subject. We can follow this formula. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I always eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is always. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is sometimes. The verb is eat, and the complement is breakfast. 
I would like to show an exception to this rule. If you notice the example, sometimes I eat breakfast with the adverb of frequency sometimes. You may put that at the beginning, just like you see on the example. Sometimes I eat breakfast. You may also say, I sometimes eat breakfast. Just like we've learned in this class by putting the adverb of frequency after the subject. And Finally, you may say the following, I eat breakfast sometimes. You can put the adverb of frequency at the end of your sentence. The last point that I would like to... Now, guys, that is an exception, okay? What, what teacher Joe explained is that you can do this only only and specifically with the adverb of frequency sometimes, okay? Only with sometimes, you can put it in the beginning, you can put it in the second place, or you can put it at the end. But the other adverbs of frequency, you put them after the subject, okay? And before the verb, okay? Do you understand? Yes. Yes, I got it. Perfect. I don't know. No? Bueno, les decía que um, solo con sometimes podemos jugar, ¿verdad? Que lo podemos poner al principio, en segundo lugar, de acuerdo a la fórmula, o en último lugar. Solo con sometimes. Los demás tienen que seguir el patrón que está acá. So, subject, que es el sujeto, después del subject, el adverb of frequency, luego el verb y luego el complement. Capiche? Ok, let's continue put the adverb of frequency at the end of your sentence. The last point that I would like to touch in this class is how to form questions and answers about frequency. Let's start by understanding how to form questions. You may follow this formula, auxiliary do or does, plus the subject, plus ever, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. Let's take a look at the example question now. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? The uh, auxiliary verb is do. After that, we have the subject you. Then we will add ever. Next, we will add the, a verb have. Finally, we need to add a complement fish for breakfast. And we can answer this type of question in different ways. For example, yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Now is your time to practice by giving lots of examples of your own. I would like for you to think about food, particularly the type of food you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and express how often you eat this type of food. For example, I always drink coffee for breakfast. I I never drink coffee for dinner. I hardly ever eat fish for lunch. I never eat fish for breakfast. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our. Already, guys, let's repeat always. Repeat always. 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 Usually. 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 
often. 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 Sometimes. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Ever. Never. 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 Okay. Um, formula. Subject. Yes. Subject. Subject. Adverb of frequency. Yes. Adverb of frequency. Verb in simple present. And complement. Okay. This is for the answers. Okay, now, for the question, ¿cómo voy a identificar cuando me están haciendo una pregunta de frecuencia? Something or something. Por ejemplo, yo te digo, do you study English? Do you, do you study English? Esa solo es una yes no question con el auxiliar do, do or does. Do you study English? Ustedes me pueden decir qué. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay? Pero si yo te pregunto, do you ever? Repeat, do you ever? Do you do ever? You ever. Esta palabrita ever. mágica, esta palabrita, ever. En la pregunta, do you ever study English? Do you ever study English? De la actividad, yo quiero saber qué. Frequency. ¿Cuál es la otra forma? How often. Estamos hablando de preguntas. How often. Y aquí entra el do y entra el das. Dependiendo del sujeto. Ok. Si es así. Estamos hablando de frecuencia, guys. Tenemos que dar always, never. Tenemos que dar la frecuencia de la actividad usando la fórmula. Ok. Um, repeat. I always, I always drink coffee for breakfast. I always drink coffee for breakfast. I always drink coffee for breakfast. Repeat. I never drink coffee for dinner. I never drink coffee for dinner. I never drink coffee for dinner. I hardly ever eat fish for lunch. I hardly, I hardly ever, ever, eat ever, ever eat fish for lunch. lunch. For lunch. I never eat fish oh. for breakfast. I never eat fish for breakfast. For breakfast. Okay, uh, let's start with I questions. I want you to think of questions. Think of a question. Prepare a question using do you ever or using how often. Cualquiera de las dos formas pueden usar para preguntar de frecuencia. Prepárenme una pregunta mientras yo abro acá with the practice. Let's see. My question is, my question is for any volunteer in the house. My question is, um, do you ever eat pupusas? For lunch? No, I never do. Sometimes I do. That's it. Dos respuestas de más de 20 participantes. Oh my gosh. Uh, esperaba un poquito más. Sí, escucharon la palabra ever, right? Ever, ese, ese active listening, guys. Esta palabra mágica, sí, es de frecuencia, ever. Oh, sí, es how often. How often. A ver, um, how often do you practice your English? How often do you practice your English? I practice English every day. Mm, está somewhat correct, Juan, porque te falta el adverb of frequency. 
I I usually I practice I, English I in the usually day. practice English, okay? I usually Okay. I always practice English. There you go. There you go. I always practice. O sea, todo el tiempo you're practicing English, right? Excellent. Excellent. Carlos, go ahead. I sometimes practice English. Fantastic. And and how often do you do exercise? How often do you do exercise? No lo piensen mucho. Sometimes. <laughs> no, pero dame, dame completo. Sometimes I do exercise. Okay. Correct. Sometimes I do exercise. Perfect, perfect. Thank hardly, you. I hardly ever practice exercise. Do, do. El verbo era do. I hardly do. ever do exercise. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. Who else? Never. I never do exercise. <laughs> I never do exercise. Thank you for your honesty. Thank you for your honesty. <laughs> ¿Quién más? ¿Quién más? I always I never do exercise. exercise. I always do exercise. I never do exercise already. I I hardly ever. I hardly ever do exercise. I admit it. <laughs> <laughs> Vaya, les toca a ustedes hacer preguntas. Raise your hand. A ver quién tiene una pregunta, ya sea con do you ever o si una pregunta con la otra forma, how often. Daniela, go ahead. How often do you drink water in the day? Eh, pulamos la pronunciación de how. 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 How often. How often do you drink water? In the day? How often do you drink water in during the day? Durante el día. During. During, during. the day. Aha, uh -huh, guys. How often do you drink water? Volunteers? I always do drink water. Seria, I always drink water. I always drink water. I, el sujeto, I, adverb frequency, always, verbo, era drink, y complemento era water. Cuando van a usar estas formas de yes, I always do, o sometimes I do, o, o I never do, es cuando la pregunta sea con do you ever, ¿ok? Porque es como una just no question, pero siempre hay que meter frecuencia. Donde tienen que abrir con la respuesta ya completa es con la pregunta how often, guys. ¿Ok? Si gustan, hagamos con how often. ¿Ok? Who has a question? ¿Quién tiene una pregunta? Me, teacher. Please. please. Ok. Um, how often do you check uh, your social networks? Excellent question. Social network, guys. How often do you check your social networks like Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram? How often do you check your social networks? Aha, uh -huh. Guadalupe, go ahead. Okay. Voy a decir una con... Often. Va, Hani, pero contestanos la pregunta que te hizo la compañera primero. ¿Cuál? ¿La escuchaste? Pregunta? No, fui a, a tomar agua, lo siento. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Uh, ok, ¿qué nos vas a dar? ¿Nos vas a dar una, un ejemplo? Ajá. Uh -huh. sí, pero si no, después, cuando termine. ¿Tenés una pregunta? Mm, no. Ok, ok, prepárala entonces, prepárala, get ready. Ok, Claudia, go ahead. I always check my social network. <laughs> Me too, no worries. Me too, it's very, it's very addictive, right? It's very addictive. Yes. <laughs> All right, do you have a question, Claudia? 
I'm sorry? Yes. I have a question. Okay, go ahead. How, how often do you go out for dinner? Ooh, nice pronunciation. How often do you go out for dinner? Uh -huh, guys, how often do you go out for dinner? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I go out for dinner. That is correct. Somebody else? Always forgot uh, dinner. I'm sorry, repeat. Can you repeat that? Was it you, Juan? No? Okay. Um, let's see, the last question. Um, how often do you have vacation? Can you repeat, please? Sure. How often do you have vacation? Okay, thank you. I hardly ever have vacation. Excellent example. Thank you. Somebody hardly. else? <laughs> <laughs> repeat me, repeat completely. I... <laughs> I... Hardly ever vacation. <laughs> Ooh, falta el verbo. I hardly ever have. Have, uh -huh. have vacation. Okay, y digamos vacation. Vacation. Excellent. Go ahead. And sometimes have vacation. Sometimes I have vacation. Repeat. Sometimes I sometimes. have vacation. I have vacations. Excelente. ¿Quién me tiene otra preguntita? Carlos, go ahead. Eh, no, responder lo de las vacaciones. Super, dale. Eh, I, I hardly ever eh, have, have a vacation. Ok, ok, ok. Vas a decir, I hardly ever sí. have vacation. I hardly ever have vacation. Repeat, Carlos. I hardly ever have vacation. Uh -huh. Vamos a oh, pulir la pronunciación de el verbo tener, guys. Have, 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 uh -huh. have. Vacación, vacation. I hardly ever have vacation, Carlos. I hardly ever have the Por ahí, por ahí, por ahí. Okay, Gabriela, go ahead. What do you have? You have a question? How how often does Anna have soda for dinner? Okay, okay. How often does Anna have soda for dinner? Yes. Okay, excellent question. Somebody has an answer for that? I never have soda for dinner. Wait, wait, wait. This is in third person, honey. How often do you know? How often does Anna, Anna, third person, have soda for dinner? She? Uh-huh. ¿Cuál sería el subject en ese caso, chicos? I. ¿Estamos hablando de Ana? Sí. Her. Her. Sujeto, sujeto, she. subject sería she. 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 she never saw that for dinner. She never? She never had she never soda for had dinner. Soda for dinner. Mm, con la corrección que como estamos hablando en tercera persona, have has. va a pasar a tercera persona, correcto. Has. Has. She has. never has, has soda, for, soda dinner. for dinner. Excellent question, excellent answer, guys. Ah, están activados. Ok, ¿quién más? Tamar, go ahead, Tamar. Ok, 
How often do you shop in clothes? How often do you go shopping? How often do you go shopping oh. for clothes? Repeat. Yes. How often do you go shopping clothes? Okay. Uh -huh, guys, how often do you go do you go shopping for for clothes like t-shirts, uh pants, jeans, sneakers? I hardly ever eat shopping. Go shopping. Uh, okay. I hardly ever go shopping. Uh, jeans? Uh, jeans? Okay, I hardly ever sh go shopping for jeans. Uh huh. I hardly ever go shopping for jeans. Okay, very nice. Thank you for your participation, guys. Thank you so much. Let me see. Let me discussion forms. This. So this ends the um. Albers of frequency, um, topic. All right, let's go over this reading real quick. This is a reading about food. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll read an article about special foods. Mm -hmm. You will also develop skills in scanning and reading for details. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, People eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are are like dollars. <laughs> what do you think about that, guys? With honey. Pretty interesting reading. Um, for good luck. Comiendo para la, la buena suerte, right? Luck, good luck, buena suerte. Uh, so these are like similar to traditions that people do, right? What is the one that you like? The one about the tangerines? The one about the um, apples, about the uh, basilopita, maybe. What is interesting for you? It's called grapes. It's... In El Salvador, we have this tradition, right? Right. This is in Spain and in some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight. At midnight, exactly at 12. Um, Eating? Uh -huh. One grape per per year. I mean, per month. Per month, January. One grape for February. One grape for March. Do you do that, guys? Do you do Do you practice this tradition? I practice this tradition a little because I, I eat a lot of grapes in Christmas and in, in New Year. More than 12, I think. <laughs> so maybe I eat like 20, like 20 grapes. What about the rest? What about the rest? What do you what do you find interesting about this one? Um what about this one? In Japan, people eat mochi. Rice cakes. Son uh, como pasteles de arroz. Rice cakes. Mm -hmm. For strength. Para la fortaleza. Eh, in the new year. Would you like to practice that tradition, guys? From Japan? 
Yes or no? No. Yes, Not really? for me it's interesting. For you it's interesting. Japan is interesting for you, huh? Because because most students now like anime cartoons. They love anime cartoons. Yes, ah, I know. I got you, I got you. This is teacher se me va el audio. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, we can uh, stay here for long. Uh, we need to move on, all right? So let me move on. Next topic, real quick. Y creo que aquí nos vamos a quedar. Voy a dejar bien guardadito esto porque siempre se me mueve, right? Tradicional son las cervezas, teacher. Mándeme. Lo más tradicional son las cervezas. En El Salvador, right? Right. Yeah, the national beers. Teacher. Yes, I sir. Remember, I remember uh, people eat dry fish in Holy Week. Oh, yes, that's right. In Holy Week, we do have different traditions, like like fish, like doing like a lot of different fruits with honey, right? Torrejas. Torrejas, ocotes with honey, mangoes with honey. Bueno, ya no vi eso de los mangoes with honey, la verdad, que hacían de todo eso. Tal vez vi los ocotes, pero ya no se vieron los mangoes. I like mangoes. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the attendance, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your attendance. Let's go. Alba Luz Cruz de Vasquez. Are you in the house? Present. Present, yes. Absolutely. Repeat, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I like it. Okay, Andrea Elizabeth Gonzalez Burgos. Are you there? Yes, teacher, I'm here. Perfect, perfect. Okay, let me move on here. Let's go with Carlos David Lopez Amaya. Present teacher. Claudia Margarita Constante Quesada. Present teacher. All right, Daniela Mercedes Olivares Vecinos. I am here. Already, Diana Cristabel Melendez Rivera. I am here. Perfect. And Elena Marisol Peralta Amador. Present. Thank you. Let's go with Esteban Otoniel Chiquillo Rodriguez. Gabriela Noemi Orellana Tejada. Present teacher. Thanks. Hazel Rocio Pastran de Enriquez. I'm here, teacher. Means. Juan... All right. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Present teacher. All right, Karen Jamilet Perez Martinez. Mm -hmm. and Carla Xiomara Centeno de Valiente. Present teacher, Gwen. All right, perfect. Present Crisia Gabriela Barrera Menjivar. Present teacher. Thank you much. Laura Noemi Dimas Escobar. Present teacher. Perfect. And Marlon David Peraza Chiquillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Marvin Nivardo Escobar. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Noelia Elizabeth Nunez de Castro. All right. Ovidio Alexander Guevara Argueta. No? Present. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ovidio, no sé si es una pregunta con how often. Oh. Uh, en serio, en serio. Mira, ve, practicame estas preguntas, están súper interesantes con frecuencia. Por ejemplo, how often do you play soccer? ¿Qué te estoy preguntando? Es que tan frecuente tú practicas, tú juegas, right? El fútbol. Entonces, practice, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, let's go with Pamela Alexandra Melara Colocho. Present. Thank you much. Patricia Yamilet Martínez Landa Verde. Present. Thank you. Sabrina Itzel Hueso Peralta. Present. Already. Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Present teacher. Tamar Alexandra Portillo Melara. I'm here teacher. 
Thank you, Tatiana Lisset Ramos Gómez. Pero lo que me interesa. Telma Chamilet Hernández Mazquita. Present teacher. Oh, yeah, there you are. Dilma Esmeralda Vanegas Pacheco. Missing in action. And Wilfredo Bonilla Alvarez. Present teacher. All right, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Yes? Yo soy Karen. Karen. No soy Karen Pérez. Your name is Karen Perez, Karen, Karen, Jamilet Perez. Uh, Martinez. Ahorita, ahorita le corrijo acá, mis. Thank you so much. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. I'll see you tomorrow, people. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Bye, Good teacher. night. God bless. Good night, teacher. Good night. God bless as well. Likewise. Be safe. See ya. Bye. Bye bye. Night night. Bye. 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 Where about you?